So let's now consider an example, and then we will consider um, a general principle that sort of is motivated by that example, basically called conservation of energy, okay? Um, okay, so the example is as follows. Let's try to figure out uh, work done by gravity determine work done by gravity um, on a point mass. Basically, when I say point mass, we mean particle. Um, mass m when the mass goes from um, position this is now sort of a general 3d sort of problem position vector ri to position vector rf okay that's the question we have sort of this three-dimensional let's say coordinate frame i j, k, and we have some particle mass, and we have mg acting downwards. Um, of course, the force of gravity, the vector, how do we represent it in this coordinate frame? It's just going to be uh, mg times the k direction, but k direction with a negative sign. So we have minus mg k is going to be uh, the uh, gravitational force. And of course, this is a constant because mg is a constant, negative one is a constant, and of course, k is a constant unit vector. Um, so work done is given by, uh, we already saw what uh, the expression for work is for a constant force well we can do that again like basically it's f dot dx but we already saw that if uh, you have a constant force then um, the work done is basically force dotted with displacement the vector displacement um, basically it's f dotted with r final minus r initial okay um, F itself is basically minus mg k uh, dotted with final position minus initial position. Okay. Now let's say the final position is uh, like basically the mass, let's say, is moving in some manner, right? So it's moving along this path um, and uh, its initial position is xi, yi, zi, and the final position is xf, yf, cf, okay? Let's say that's true. Um, so basically we have xfi plus yfj, plus ZFK and initial position, I suppose this is not a unit vector, is XI initial uh, times I plus YI J plus ZIK. So when we take this dot product, what do we get? So work equals minus MGK dotted with, basically we have xf minus xi times i plus yf minus yij plus zf minus zik. And if you take the dot product, you have a k here, you have ijk here, but the dot product basically means you have 0i plus 0j, and when you multiply the like i's and j's, we basically get zero plus zero minus mg zf minus 
vi. So that's basically your work done, okay? So work done by gravity. equals minus mg zf by minus zi, okay? Let me put this on the next page. So what does this look like? Let me rearrange it. mg z initial minus mg z final is what that comes out to, okay? So if a particle is going from some point to some other point, the work done by gravity is mg initial point uh, z, z value minus mg uh, z value at the final point, okay? So, so that's, we just derived an expression for the work done by gravity. Uh, and to use essentially a simpler term, because we sort of compute work done by gravity so often, people essentially made up a new term called potential energy. So we define potential energy um, as basically um, equal to mgz um, with a, uh, well, you define mgz as, the, as potential energy, right? Um, it's kind of equal to negative the work done, um, roughly. So um, let me actually not write that down here. Um, okay, so we define this new quantity called mgz, uh, which is potential energy. And then we can write work done by gravity as, well, potential energy initial minus potential energy final, or it's negative of potential energy final minus potential energy initial, okay? Okay, so what did we just do? We computed the work done by gravity. We found that it was equal to this expression mg final, mg z, z initial minus mg z final, um, and then define this quantity called potential energy for gravity, uh, and then rewrote the work done by gravity in terms of this potential energy, okay? 